So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little exercise. Amy Donnean came up with a list, list of red flag risk factors. These are things that put patients at a higher risk for type 2 diabetes, heart attack, and stroke, and or are indicators of uh, potential problems that could lead to heart attack or stroke. So we have a couple folks that are going to read these for us, and here's what I'd like for you to do. They're going to read out a list of, a list of conditions. And when they're reading out this list of conditions, I'd like for you to just every, if you've ever had a patient with this condition, so every time April reads out one of these, if you've ever had a patient with that condition, I'd like for you to just make a little tick mark on your paper, okay? So just be ready, make a little tick mark on your paper, and April's going to read the first half of these for us. Okay, here you go. I'm pretty loud. I don't know if I need this. That would be super, just so you don't have to strain your voice. Okay. Thank you. All right, so personal or family history of cardiovascular disease. Personal or family history of heart attacks, strokes, or type 2 diabetes. Elevated cholesterol and elevated blood glucose levels. Nicotine use in any form and or secondary exposure. Psychosocial issues such as depression, anxiety, or stress. Diabetes, which is risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Gestational diabetes and high blood pressure during pregnancy. High blood pressure. Abdominal obesity. Sleep problems. And age, over 40 for men and over 50 for women. Can you count how many items that was, April? 12. 12? 11. 11, okay, thank you. Okay, how many tick marks did you make? 11, okay. All right, now Dr. Clark is gonna do the same. She's got some that are a little bit, uh, you might not see quite as often, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, Dr. Clark, if you could read those for us, please, it'd be super. Gum disease, erectile dysfunction. I've never asked my patients that. <laughs> Rheumatoid arthritis. Lupus, psoriasis, migraine headaches, gout, polycystic ovaries, hirsutism, which is facial hair growth in women, oligomenorrhea, which is changes in menstrual cycles, Hispanic or African American descent. Osteoporosis. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many were there, Dr. Clark? There were 12. 12? How many tick marks did you make? 12? Okay. So these are things that you see all the time, these red flag risk factors. How many of your patients have multiples of these? A lot, right? A lot of your patients have multiples. So every one of these is, a, is a, another, imagine each one of those conditions is a brick, okay? And this brick is what we call an inflammatory burden. And so they're carrying these on their back, right? They're carrying these in their immune system. They're carrying these in their, in their vessels all over their body is this heavy inflammatory burden, right? And then one leads to the next, leads to the next, leads to the next. And then all of a sudden, if we have periodontal disease and we can take a brick off, right, all of a sudden that load gets a little bit lighter and that patient might be able to manage something, okay? So this is, they are carrying this heavy inflammatory burden. So when we see these patients and we're nervous about presenting therapy and we look at their medical history and they've got diabetes and high blood pressure and high cholesterol and migraine headaches, and you know they're over 50 for women you know every time we see one of those it's another inflammatory burden that they're carrying we should be compelled to recommend treatment to eliminate 
the one that we can help them with, right? To eliminate that periodontal disease. This is how we shift our mindset.